Jeff Blankman down here with the Audubon softball team tonight after they fall to Riverside. Joining me right now is Claire Olson and Taylor Nielsen. We'll start off with Claire Olson here tonight. And Claire, you've been having a really good season at the plate tonight. Uh, how do you feel like the season's been going for you so far? Um, I feel like I've gotten a lot better since the beginning of the season. It has gone well for me, I believe, and uh, I just hope it improves. Where do you feel like you've improved, especially hitting the ball so far? Um, I feel like I'm stronger this year, so it can I can just get a hold of the ball and make it travel. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like you swung the bat pretty well tonight? Yeah, I did. I just need to find it better and yeah. <laughs> is that one of the issues for you is kind of finding the pitch and being able to I kind of read so. it out of her hand right away? Yeah, and I just need to yeah, read the pitch and know which one is a ball and which one I need to swing at better than the others. Did you have one at bat tonight that you thought maybe was better than the rest? Um yeah, the well, when I hit it out to right field, I thought that one was I'm not sure which one that was, but so I think that one was probably the best one out of all of them. What's been your favorite game so far this season, maybe? Now, last night won a 14-13 loss, but a, a terrific game. Kind of sounded like it was fun, or was there another game that maybe jumps out to you this year? Um, I think last night, since it was closer, we had a better chance, and I think that one was probably the best. Team staying confident with the slow start to the season, you think? Yeah, we are. We are just we need we're sticking as a team, and so that's good. Just going through these losses, but it'll be all right. <laughs> Talk about tonight's game. Uh, how did you feel like you guys played against Riverside? This game really kind of closer than maybe that final score indicated. Um, well, we like played the ball well. They just kind of sometimes hit it where we aren't. And uh, hitting, we just needed to figure out the strike zone better. And um, so like just getting everything put together into one. When do you think this team will come together and how much better do you think you'll be by the end of the year? Hopefully soon. I think it will be soon. We just, um, yeah, I think it'll be, we'll improve a lot, I believe, by the end. So. Well, Claire, I tell you what, great job. Keep up the good work. Thank You've you. had a really good uh, season hitting the ball, and we wish you the best of luck Thank the rest you. of the way through. Let's move over now to Taylor Nielsen. And uh, Taylor, I know you were talking to Caleb here a little bit ago. You did get the start at catcher tonight. I think first time behind the plate to, uh, this season, right? But you've been there in the past. So yes. uh, what was it like making the transition? Um, it's a little different going from shortstop to catcher because obviously now you're behind the batter, you're behind the plate, but it's a lot easier to read the runners and when they're going to steal and all that. So it's a lot easier for me, I guess, being behind the plate to see where they're going. You feel pretty comfortable, uh, you know, making the throws tonight that you needed to? Yeah, as long as my arm's warm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does it take you a little while to get that arm warm? Um, not too bad. I just got to do a little more long toss so I can get my harder throws. So okay. I feel more comfortable getting it, throw downs. You were catching Gracie tonight. Uh, talk about what you saw from her and, and, and how it is working with an eighth grader and what you're trying to do to kind of maybe talk to her and keep her confident out there. Well, it's a, uh, it's tough for her because she is an eighth grader and she's pitching varsity, but she really she pulled through tonight. And I know in previous years we've had pitchers had to – we've had to switch pitchers, but she was able to hold her own. And she – she does a really good job up at up at the pitcher plate and knowing where to go and what to do and it's it's very very easy to catch for her. Do you like catching? Is that is that your favorite position or do you kinda of like being back out at shortstop? It's kind of a toss up for me between shortstop and catching because I guess I've grown used to shortstop, but I used to play catcher, so it's just kind of a back-and-forth deal. Let's talk about hitting the ball tonight. Uh, you were able to make some contact. How did you feel at the plate, and were you reading pitches pretty well? Yeah, I felt definitely better tonight at the plate. I was able to see the ball a lot better, especially when I got that double. I felt like it was a solid hit because I knew I had to get on base and swing level <laughs> and hard and get it out there. So, yeah. Do you feel like you've been hitting the ball well this season or do you feel like you can improve a little? I can definitely improve a little. It kind of it wavers from game to game. Sometimes I'll be dipping and then other games I'll be hitting solid and level. Do you feel like most of the time when you're not swinging well, you kind of know what you're doing wrong? Yeah, I can definitely tell if I'm pulling my foot or if I'm dipping, like I said earlier. Has it gotten a little better over the last week or so? It seems like on some of the nights you've been putting up some pretty good numbers lately. Yes, it's got it's definitely gotten better because we have batting practice beforehand, and that has definitely helped. What area do you want to improve the most as this season goes on? Um, probably hitting and trying to hit to spots where their players aren't and getting on base a lot more. Well, Taylor, appreciate you joining us tonight. Congratulations on the start to the season. Keep up the good work. Thank you.